after installing DWM you may notice that it's you know very plain very minimalist and it, it doesn't have to be that way you can very easily change just simple coloring to make your DWM desktop more interesting so to do that all we have to do is edit the .config file of the DWM source and I think that this will overall be easier and just better and I think that it should be done this way that you install DWM from source so uh, let's navigate to my DWM directory alright so now let's edit the configuration file alright so if we go down here to the colors definition here this these two lines here so scheme normal is for things that are not selected so what does that mean in DWM the tab that is selected right now is the first tab on my desktop here which is the arch logo the unselected tabs are the rest here on the top left so what's the scheming for this so if we just look at it the foreground I have it set as white the background is blue and the borders for windows that are not selected are also blue so let me just open another window here and we'll see here that once I select this uh, terminal its borders change red because that's the selected uh, theme color for the border and the unselected one the normal scheme is for it to be blue so once you edit these lines here with whatever colors you've defined up on the top of the DWM source here you can just pick whichever one and plug it in and you can make your desktop more interesting what I like to do personally is I'll go through the wallpaper and I will find a pixel or something of a, of a dominant color that I really like and I'll try to find two and in this case for this wallpaper I found red and blue uh, kinda work the best or red and black so the only thing is that you need to define the colors like this here exactly like this uh, just give them unique names and have it all be in hex so this is this is hex coding here and with a hashtag in front of it now this may seem complicated but in reality uh, when you compare it to other window managers where you have to learn um, syntax for a specific configuration of just one desktop it's it's really crazy sometimes this actually simplifies things and it makes it much easier to learn how to change your configuration uh, the only requirement really is that you know some C but if you can just plug in a few lines of code you can really change your desktop really quickly and seamlessly without having any issues so that's about all I hope that you found this useful